today you're gonna learn a lot more about deciduous trees. There are many different kinds of plants in the world, although each is unique and special in its own way. Most plants found on land are either deciduous or evergreen. Remember, a deciduous plant is one that loses its leaves. An evergreen plant is one that does not lose its leaves, and it is always green. This. Is a picture of an apple tree in the winter. An apple tree sheds its leaves every fall, so it is a deciduous tree. Deciduous is such a tricky word to say, so、um, let's clap it. It has four parts to it, so I want you to clap four times. And as you clap, say deciduous. Deciduous. The four parts of the word deciduous can actually help you remember that deciduous trees change in each of the four seasons. Seasons happen in a cycle or circle over and over again. So remember, the four seasons are spring, summer, fall, and winter. Let's start with spring because that's when new things start growing. In the spring. The apple tree produces new leaves and apple blossoms or flowers. Do you guys remember Polly the honeybee? This is the time of year when she starts taking the nectar from the inside of the flowers. When she flies from flower to flower, she helps spread the pollen that is going to help the apples grow. Now, do you remember that special word when a bee goes flower to flower, spreading the pollen to each flower? What is that special word called? Good, it's called pollination. Pollination is really important to flowers because it helps the flowers make seeds. Now, what's the season that follows spring? Good, it's summer. In the summer, the apple tree grows many and more green leaves. Apples begin to grow out of the blossoms. So we've talked about spring and we talked about summer. What's the season that comes next, right after summer? Good, it's fall. In the fall, the apples of the apple trees are fully grown and ready to be picked. The leaves on the apple tree starts to change to red and yellow, and then they fall off onto the ground. Over time. The leaves on the ground will break down into tiny pieces and become nutrients in the soil. So we've talked about spring, summer, fall. What's the last season that we're missing? Good, it's winter. Here is the apple tree again in the winter. Remember, the seasons repeat in a cycle or circle. Over and over again every year, this apple tree has bare branches, again meaning they are empty and without covering or leaves. I want you to take a guess. Why do you think that this deciduous tree is bare in the winter? So, deciduous plants are bare. Because they do not get as much sunlight during the winter as they do during the spring or in the summer. In the apple tree's habitat, the weather becomes cold, and there is less light from the sun. With less light from the sun, the tree leaves cannot make food through this special word called photosynthesis. Because the apple tree cannot make food during the winter time. It has to do something else to save its energy. Do you remember your vocab word that means to be asleep or not active? Great, it's called dormant. So these apple trees fall asleep 
they become dormant in the winter to save their energy. When the apple tree goes dormant, it stops making leaves, blossoms, and apples, and its branches become bare. Take a look at this picture. This picture shows an apple tree, but it's in all four seasons. Remember, the apple tree is a deciduous tree because it loses its leaves every year. In the spring, an apple tree is nice to look at because it has those pretty white blossoms. In the summer, you can climb its branches, sit under the shade of its large green leaves, and admire the apples as they grow out of the blossoms. In the fall, you can pick the apple tree's fruit and watch its leaves change colors before falling off. In the winter, you may play in the snow under its bare branches. Although trees are special to us in many ways, it is important to remember that trees are also very important in nature. Trees, more than any other plants, help keep the air clean and safe to breathe, which you will learn about later. They also provide food and homes for countless animals. So, this is what I want you to do the next time you see a big tree. I challenge you to wrap your arms around that big tree and give it a big hug just to show that you understand how important it is. <laughs>